Good morning, kindergarten. It's Mrs. Merritt from Syracuse Academy of Science and Citizenship. And today I'm going to teach you Module 4, Lesson 26. And our objective today is I can model decompositions of 9. So when we think of decompositions, we need to think of taking something apart. So that is what we're going to do today. We're going to take things apart. All right, let's get started. But before we get started, I want you to pause me and I want you to either grab nine of something or, or I mean, and a paper and a, a pencil or a whiteboard. Basically, you'll need nine of something and something to write with. All right. All right. So for this one, we're just going to look at the picture. Okay, it says it's laundry day. We have nine extra socks. Some are green and the rest are blue. Show the set of green socks and the set of blue and then make a number bond to help us, um, number bond to help tell you about your picture. Okay, so here we go. Some are green. And then we'll put some blue ones in there. But remember, we only have nine extra, so we're not going to go above the number nine. Okay, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, obviously, there is more than one way to do that, and that's what we're going to learn about today is the different ways to decompose the number nine. So, the first thing we did was we figured out there are nine in whole. And then our two parts are the green ones and the blue ones. So, let's count the green ones. One, two, three, four. Then, let's count the blue ones. One, two, three, four, five. So this is what our number bond would look like to represent nine as our whole. We have four green socks, so that's one of our parts, and we have five blue socks, which is another part. Now, I know we've been doing a lot with separating the parts by color, but today they're going to separate them just into two different groups. So it's gonna, we're going to have to switch our brain over a little bit, okay? Let me show you what I mean. So, it says look at our linking cubes, and we have to figure out how many there are, and then take one red cube off. So, when we do this problem now, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the top part and the bottom part. So, it's not red and blue anymore. It's the top part and the bottom part. So you have to pay super close attention when you're doing your problems to figure out if they want to separate the groups by colors or if they want you to separate the groups in another way. Let's get started with this. So I want you, if you are at home and you have nine of something, I want you to take out nine things, okay? If you don't have nine things available. Can you please draw me nine things on your paper and pause me? All right. So here we go. I said, look at our linking cubes. I'm going to move this one back until it tells me to move it again. How many cubes are in our stick? Well, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that is our whole. All we're doing today is creating number bonds for right now. Okay. Then it says take off one red linking cube. Okay. Now we have to figure out our two parts. Now how many did we take away? Just this one. So that's one of our parts. And then Let's count our top part. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. There are our two parts. I know it's tricky because it's not like we've been separating with the red and the blue, and we're separating with the top and the bottom, but stick with me and I promise it'll be easier to understand, okay? Go ahead and put your nine things back together. Okay, now pull that one back down. And now it wants us to take another one down with the other red cube. So let's count our whole, and then we'll do our two parts. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine is our whole. How many cubes do we have up here? Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's our other part. And then how many cubes do we have down here? One, two. Okay. I want you to leave everything the way it is and then just make a new number bond. We're going to go on to the next problem, but I want you to leave these two cubes down here. Okay. Now it says to take another cube off and put it with the other two cubes. Do you think we still have nine cubes in total? Well, let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We sure do. Just because we move things around doesn't mean the whole changes. It's just the two parts are changing right now. I want you to pause me, and I want you to go ahead, and I want you to write in the two parts. All right, let's see what we got. So I'm going to count this top part first. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's one of my parts. And then I have one, two, three is my other part. Is that what you got? Awesome if you did, and if you didn't, we'll just keep practicing. It's a little bit tricky to get used to not separating things by colors and just separating them into two different parts now. Let's go to our next one. Okay, so for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move the cube down. It says to move one more down, and I want you to pause me, and I would like you to create the number bond. Go ahead. All right. So I'm just going to double count this, but I'm pretty sure we still have nine because we just moved something around. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we still have nine. Now let's see what our two parts are. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four. Okay, great job. We're going to do the same thing with the next problem. I'm going to move the cube down, pause me, and go ahead and write your number bond. All right, so we already talked about we still have nine, even though we're just moving some things around. But let's double check our work. It's always good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. All right. Now let's count these cubes up top. One, two, three, four. Now notice I didn't call them just the blue cubes. Even though they're blue, that's great. But look at I have a blue cube down here, so I can't refer to my groups as blue and red anymore, okay? That's why I called them the cubes up top. Let's look at the cubes down below. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Now, if you are ready for a super challenge, here's what I want you to do. I want you to pause, and I want you to write an, either an addition sentence using your number bond 
or a subtraction sentence with your number bond and submit it to your teacher for an extra dojo point for this number bond. When you're all done, unpause me and we'll go right to the next one. All right, here we go. We're moving one more down. And let's write our number bond. Go ahead and pause me and begin writing. I can't wait to see who does the number sentence challenge. That will be so exciting. Okay, we've already talked about, we have nine as our whole. We're just moving some things around. Let's see how many we have on top. One, two, three. And let's see how many we have on the bottom group. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here is what your number bond should look like. If you'd like to do that challenge again and create an addition sentence or a subtraction sentence, go ahead and pause me. And then when you're ready, go to the next problem. All right, we're going to move one more down. Go ahead and pause and do your number sentence. You guys are doing great with this. I have a question. Do we still have nine? We sure do. Great job. Let's count how many we have up top. One, two. And let's count how many we have down below. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you are participating in the number sentence challenge, go ahead and pause. Write your number sentence, either addition or subtraction, and unpause when you're ready to continue. Okay. We're going to move one more down. Go ahead and write that number sentence, or not that number sentence, fill in your number bond. And we'll go over that. We just moved things around, so we still have how many? Nine. Very good. How many are up top here? Just one. And how many are on the bottom? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You guys are rocking it. Go ahead and do your challenge if you'd like, and then unpause when you're ready. Okay, here's our last one. This is a little bit tricky. We still have nine as the whole, but I want you to figure out the two parts. Is there anything up top? No, so we have zero. That shows we have nothing up top. And how many do we have below? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Go ahead and write your number sentence if you're doing the challenge. And then unpause me for your exit ticket. All right, guys, you did an amazing job. And I can't wait to see if you did those addition and subtraction challenges along the way. Here is your problem set for the day. You are going to draw a line from the cube stick to the matching number bond. I cannot wait to see what you guys have done. And I will see you on Monday. Have a great weekend, Adams.